Hi, my name is Peter Radcliffe and in this series of videos what I want to do is explain how meditation works because obviously if you get an understanding of how meditation works in the mind then it will assist you in becoming a better meditator and of course my aim in this whole program is to make you the best meditator that you can possibly be. Now before I begin, uh, first of all I want to acknowledge uh, all my teachers and what I'm going to share with you has come from a number of different sources, different traditions and different sciences. And so I want to first of all say uh, it is my own uh, way of explaining it and therefore it may not be correct. But my goal is not necessarily actually to make it correct, although I hope it is. The goal is to make you a better meditator. So if, you're, if this helps you in your understanding and it helps you in your practice, then I've achieved my goal. And then the second thing to say is, of course, that they are just models. And so no model can totally replicate the actual mind. So keep that in mind too, that this is only simply a guide to help you. Okay, having said that, let's explore how the mind works and in particular, how meditation works. And the first question that we should ask is, why do meditation in the first place? And the answer is quite simple in that the reason we do meditation is the same as we do everything else in life. And that is to try to uh, get away from suffering or unhappiness and achieve uh, a state of happiness. And when you think about it, everything we do in life, whether it's eating or sleeping or socializing or working or whatever it is, behind it, the whole reason is to either try to get away from uh, a, an unhappy state of being to a happier state of being. So when we think about that, meditation is exactly the same. We're trying to do the same thing, but just perhaps in a different way. And so with the answer to that question, the follow-on question is, well, what is happiness and what is suffering? So now suffering I want to leave to the next video uh, because that's a little bit more detailed, but I think I can answer what is happiness again um, straight up by saying that happiness is a natural quality of the mind. So we have to really take this on faith that deep meditators, and you'll experience this too when you achieve a state of uh, deep realization, will find that they get into such a serene, blissful and joyful place in deep meditation that it exceeds anything that you can be happy about in normal everyday life. And this is what the great meditators tell us, so we have to go from there. And they do that by getting into a state of single-pointed meditation, meditation on one object. So that means they are getting as close to the primary, original state of mind as possible. And they're not actually thinking about much at all when they're in that deep state of meditation. So that shows us that the highest state of happiness is in fact our natural uh, unadulterated state of mind before it takes on all of these views and outlooks and worries uh, that are conditioned by conceptual thinking. Okay, So from there we go uh, from unhappiness trying to uh, find happiness and then we fall back into unhappiness and so uh, if we look at the chart, we're always trying to get from unhappy to happy, from suffering down here up to happiness. And if we take happiness, uh, or sorry, the uh, highest state of happiness as uh, one point of deep meditation, then what we're doing you know, as we become quite happy and then we fall back into unhappiness and we might stay up and go level for a while and be happier. Whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. But interestingly, these peaks, if you look at it on this scale, if this is our natural state of being, then it's kind of confronting, but we are always 
in a state of less happiness than our natural state. Uh, so that's an insight and I guess uh, quite confrontational right there. But have a think about that. So even when we're the happiest point in our life, uh, it is actually relatively to our natural state of being, it is a state of unhappiness or suffering. And so this really um, is uh, what we're trying to do in, in, in uh, meditation is to, first of all, get to the state and uh, go away from this. Now, in meditation, we learn to practice this, but to do that, we need to understand what is it that makes us unhappy and what is it that makes us suffer. And so that is the uh, topic of the next video.